happy Father's Day to all of our dads. Hey, I have a message I want to share with you in light of what I see our, uh, you and I going through in this world. I'm a dad, and so uh, I realize the tough struggles that we seem to be in today, that we feel like no matter what we do, we just can't fix it. Uh, we can't make it happen. Um, we feel sometimes like failures, and there's a struggle going on. So I want to encourage all of our dads today not to feel that way. I want you to know you're loved, you're supported, and you're not alone. I want to share with you, if I can, for just a moment, uh, some scripture. Before I do, though, I want you to know that um, we are under attack. We are under attack like no other time. Satan wants to, to destroy our world. And by doing so, the heart of that is the family unit. And scripture tells us that dads are the head of that family unit. That means your head is on the chopping block. Saying that, then I want you to know um, how important it is for us as dads to stand together, to stand up for what is right, stand on the word of God, and to stay in prayer. I look at this backdrop here, and um, this is uh, my example as I think about our Heavenly Father, who created a world for me to enjoy and to even flourish in, and I believe that's what God's called us as dads to do, and it's getting more and more difficult for us to do so in our homes, to make our families feel safe and loved. So I want to share this scripture with you, and I want you to be reminded that uh, I believe this is what's coming in the days ahead, and I'm praying for that. I'm praying for you, Dad, all of our dads, all of you out there, and I hope that all of us will pray together. In Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6, the last two verses of scripture in the Old Testament, God says this to us, Behold, I will send Elijah, the prophet, before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with a decree or a curse of utter destruction. Now, as I look at this, I realize that this is a picture of what happened with John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a picture of Elijah. He came before the great day of the Lord, but he says the great and awesome. So I believe there's going to be another uh, Elijah type coming into our world again. And I'm believing it's very soon. I believe it's very, very soon. Because as we look at our world today, we see it going into utter destruction. And if he doesn't come, if that Elijah doesn't come, then we're going to continue to head down that road of destruction. But why did God put this word here? Why did God tell us this? We also realize that Elijah came the first time in John the Baptist, so I believe it's going to happen again. Is a little Elijah going to stand up? I don't think so. Could it be one of our dads? Could be. It could be you. Now, when I think about Elijah, I think about a man who in the midst of a, a time of Ahab, who was very passive-aggressive as a leader, and we see Jezebel, who was a witch, and she was very immoral. We see our same situation in our world today. But Elijah asked the people, how long are you going to stand between two opinions? And he took on the bales, and he stood up on the word of God, and God did something magnificent. So I want you to know that this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a time when us as dads will take that stand, will stand up on the word of God, Stand in the spirit of God's truth, and we will defeat the enemy as dads and take back our homes, take back our family units, take back our land. It's time as dads that we don't see us in division or we don't see ourselves in failure, but we see ourselves as victorious because we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us. God bless you, dads. Stand strong. Stand firm. Know you're praying for or being prayed for and know that you're loved. God bless.